Meet us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Google Plus. Hey guys, this is Phil from Education.com. Now this is finally the Galaxy S6 and the Galaxy S Edge. Okay, Galaxy S6 Edge and the Galaxy S6. We've been thinking about which to go first with, and we decided with the Galaxy S6 Edge. You know, we always wanted for a new thing for our smartphones, and now with the dual edge display, finally is something new. So here's the Galaxy S6 Edge. It comes in four different colors. This is called the um, platinum, um, uh, gold platinum, and there's a black sapphire. There's a white pearl and green emeralds. Okay, on the back, it's got the um, basic specifications written. And the box packaging is finally something different. Uh, instead of writing on the capital letter of the significant letter of the phone, uh, as said, Galaxy Note Edge had the E on it, Galaxy S6 had an S on it, so on and so forth. They finally changed it to a plain looking box. Uh, this looks very clean and neat. I, I really like it compared to the wooden one before they changed it. They've been using it for quite a while to uh, emphasize on that eco friendliness of it, but um, I never liked it. Okay, so this is the packaging. You can slide it out to get the actual box. Um, as it says, it's 32 gigs. Uh, it comes in 32, 64, and 120 gigabytes. Uh, seems like 120 gigabytes of the stock is having a shortage, so um, consider uh, about it. And um, here it is, and um, this is the Galaxy S6 Edge. Um, some people have been telling us to go with the Galaxy S6 first because the Galaxy S6 Edge is a variant, um, the, the S6 variant, but actually, in, in fact, Galaxy S6 is a variant of the Galaxy S6 Edge because this is called the codename Zero, and the S6, just the normal X6 flat model, is called a Zero Flat. Uh, well, at least that's the internal way of calling it. So you can pull out, and there's manual, a bunch of manuals, nothing important, and there's a quick charger over here. This is the quick charger that's supposed to charge uh, up to 10 minutes and allow you to use it for four hours. It's a fast charger that we've been seeing from the Galaxy Note 4 and um, you better use this for the fast charging capabilities and there is a micro USB cable and the SIM card removal tool. We all know that since now the Galaxy S6 and the S6 Edge have the unibody um, built-in uh, unibody design now you require a um, now they require you to use a pin to detach the sim card and um, earphones over here not looking nice and that's pretty much it all right so this is the galaxy s6 edge and the cover plastic and the galaxy s6 edge looks actually stunningly beautiful in my hands um uh, as a first look it looks, uh, it changes its color as the light goes through. And uh, as it says, it's called a gold platinum. It's either gold or platinum, though, depending on the way that you look at the device. On top, it's got a receiver and a two megapixel, uh, five megapixel camera, uh, along with the sensors and the 5.1 inches of a QHD double edged display that you see here. And the multitasking home and the back key. The home key over here is capable of fingerprint recognition. And they finally changed it to the area way of the fingerprint recognition instead of the scrolling it, which gave us a lot of errors. Um, uh, of course it was patented, so um, they took a long time to bypass that patent that Apple or the uh, subsidiary had. Uh, on the right, you have the power key over here. Of course, it would have been weird to place it any anywhere else. On top, it would have been a bit harder to reach. On top, it's got an infrared port along with the nano SIM card tray over here. Unfortunately, there's no SD card slot, probably. Uh, maybe to sell more of a higher priced storage machines or to match with the UFS high speed internal memory. That's at least what Samsung is telling us, but we don't know what exactly is truth. But not having an SD card slot is definitely not a good thing. The volume rocker resides on the left and on the bottom you have a micro USB port along with the speaker and um, earphone jack. On the back you have a 16 megapixel camera and the LED flash and uh, the heart rate monitor. Uh, this is a carrier logo, Samsung logo. And on the back you see the colors changing here as well. Uh, the back, back cover is not detachable. It has a 2600 milliamps of battery. The flat model has a 2550 milliamps of battery. So it's a little bit larger in the capacity. We'll, we're not sure, entirely sure if that's gonna give us any difference in the actual usage of the battery. So we're gonna turn that on. I'm gonna place it right here and compare with some of the predecessors. This is a Galaxy S5, uh, Galaxy S4, sorry. And um, Galaxy S5 over here, this is a dummy. The The actual machine was too way too ugly, so I um, sold it right after. <laughs> and there's the, Galaxy, uh, the iPhone 6. 
dummy 2 and the Galaxy S6 Edge. And of course the Edge display is definitely nothing new. Um, we had the Galaxy Note Edge. Uh, it only had the uh, Edge display on the one side and this was focused more on the, the usability of its functions. You could have put the, the titles on it and you could have slided. Um, now it's more onto the aesthetics way of using it. Uh, compared to the Galaxy S5, um, you see a lot of differences in the design. The original Galaxy S5 and the Galaxy S6 Edge or the Galaxy S6 has a lot of differences. All right, so we're gonna set this guy up. This is the welcome screen. It's built up with the lollipops from the start. So we can go right here. Smart network settings, no thanks. Don't take me to solar network without telling me. Uh, we could tap agree over here. You know, I think that's uh, like a little waiver there, um, that uh, liability waiver, because I, if I don't agree with the user agreements, I can't proceed with the settings. So I naturally have to agree with it. So we're gonna skip here. There's a lot and lot of settings. So there, that's another carrier bloatware. And um, this is another government bloatware. Um, okay, there's a lot of things that this ask. Um, if you have gone through the Android settings, you would have known this. Okay, give it a few seconds, and this is the Samsung launcher. It is told that Samsung has took off a lot of things off their touch wish to make it lighter, faster, and basically better in every sense. We can see that it's really fast, but um, this is a default setting, so we'll have to see if it's that fast because it's got Exynor, uh, Exynor Octa-Core processor. It's called the Exynor, Exynos 7420. Uh, it's uh, quad-core A57 plus quad-core A A53. So we'll see how it acts with the three gigabytes of RAM paired up. So we'll get back with the review very soon. This Gorilla Glass 4 with the edge, dual edge display looks tremendously amazing on my hands. We'll have to see if it's as good as it looks in the real life and we'll get back with the review very soon. So stay tuned. That was Galaxy S6 Edge. We have the unboxing for the Galaxy S6 as well. Uh, if not, it's not on there, it will be very soon. So stay tuned. Uh, subscribe and we'll see you guys later with the other things very soon.